Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your HTML emails directly from Figma into your MailChimp email templates page uh, under your MailChimp account. Um, so the way we're going to be doing this is using the Emailify plugin. Um, so to install that you can just go to the Figma community, search for the word Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y and under the plugins tab you'll see Emailify pop up. Um, if you just click on the install button, then you'll be ready to go. So I'm just going to jump into my Figma file and run the plugin by right clicking anywhere, going down to plugins and clicking on emailify. And that's just going to open the plugin we just installed. Um, so it's worth noting that I've already designed my email using the emailify plugin. So if you haven't done this before and you're interested to know how to do that, uh, there's another video on our YouTube channel that'll help you do that. Uh, it's a really in-depth tutorial, so check that one out first if you haven't. Um, but if you've already got a design and you just want to export it, uh, that's what this tutorial is going to be going through today. So to export our email into MailChimp, we just get started by clicking on the export button in the plugin. And that's just going to bring up the export options. So by default, it will export uh, an HTML package or HTML uh, packages to your desktop or your um, download folder. And instead of downloading it to our computer today, we actually want to be uploading it to a platform. And in this case, we want to be doing it to MailChimp. So if you just click on the export options uh, drop down, go down to MailChimp and select that. And that's just going to change the options down here to ask for your API key. And you can get the API key by clicking on the API key link and then going into your browser, which will open up. And as long as you're already logged in, you'll see your API keys page uh, load up. Um, so once the page loads up, you just have to go down to the bottom and click on the create a key button. So I'm going to click on that now. That's just going to refresh the page and tell me that I've got a new API key that I can use. And if I scroll down, you can see down here that it's just created a brand new one. So I'm just going to label that emailify so I know what it is in the future. And over in the API key column, you just want to click on that input box which will select the text from the API key that it's just generated. And you just want to copy that. So either Command C or Control C if you're on a Windows machine. And once you've copied the API key, jump back into Figma, jump back into the plugin. And in the input field next to the MailChimp API key label, you just want to go ahead and paste that key in. And that's just going to paste that straight into there. So you can see that's, that's worked really well. And once that's done, just make sure that you've selected the emails you want to upload and make sure they've got a subject line and preheader because um, that'll also get included. So you can, uh, you can change that. Uh, so I can just remove that and just change that subject line. And then once that's ready to go, all you need to do now is click on the upload to MailChimp button. So I'll click on that now. And now that's going to actually generate our HTML automatically. It's going to export all the images, upload all of those images, and then upload the template itself into MailChimp. Um, so that's all done now. You can see we've got a confirmation saying that our MailChimp template has been uploaded. And if we go ahead and click on the MailChimp templates uh, link, so I'm going to do that now, which is going to open up that page again. And you can see here uh, it's changed from being a blank uh, screen with no templates to this template that's just been uploaded directly from the Figma plugin. Uh, so we can open that up just by clicking on the title. I'll just move this over so we can see what's going on here. And uh, there's our email. So that's all HTML. You can see the actual code has been uploaded uh, directly into MailChimp here. Um, so that's all of the HTML and CSS. It's all inlined, so you don't have to do any, uh, you know, crazy inlining with the CSS or anything like that. That's automatically taken care of. And this is our preview over here. So you can see it's looking really nice. The images are all uh, loaded. All of the contents loaded. We can actually preview that in uh, different devices. So we can change it from desktop to mobile and see what it looks like. It's looking pretty good on there as well. Um, so that's our email, all uh, uploaded into MailChimp. We didn't have to go through the somewhat painful process of uploading the, the template um, manually by zipping up the images folder, you know, uh, zipping up the HTML, dragging that in, creating the new template, especially if you've got multiple ones that can take a little while. So uh, the good thing about this is if you have multiple emails, um, it'll also export those multiple emails 
all at the same time as new templates in your MailChimp templates. Um, so the one thing for, to be mindful of is if you're re-uploading this template and you've made some changes and you want to re-upload it, um, by default, it will just create a new template in your MailChimp templates page. It's not going to override uh, the template that's already been uploaded. And the reason for that is because you can actually go ahead and make manual changes in MailChimp. So you can actually edit the HTML uh, in MailChimp. So if you've made a bunch of changes manually and you you know were happy with those in MailChimp, uh, we don't want to go ahead and override those automatically and assume uh, that we want to override that. So it'll just create a brand new version and that way you can you know get rid of any other versions or go back to other versions in your templates list uh, if you want to do that. But um, yeah, otherwise you can just uh, yeah just manually update it and don't worry about re-uploading it from Figma if you know that that's the last version you're going to use. So um, so that's, that's what that looks like there, and uh, that's that's basically it. So this is just a much more streamlined way of uh, getting your HTML out of Figma into MailChimp automatically without having to uh, manually copy and paste that HTML and uh, zip up images and things like that. So hopefully that's helpful if you're a MailChimp user and you're an Emailify user. Um, I know a lot of you have been uh, wondering when these integrations might be shipping. So we're just starting to ship them out now and uh, there will be some more platforms coming soon. So um, thank you as always for watching. And as I said, we'll be back very soon with uh, some more Figma tutorials just like this one uh, in the near future. So stay tuned.